what's up guys ankle spangin here and today we're playing another rank game as Aatrox top and I know you guys are like oh my god ankle you just uploaded an Aatrox top game and I I know this and I apologize but Aatrox is my safe top laner in ranked so there will not be much variety in my top laners if I get stuck in top lane as ranked anyways uh, this will be my third and final recording attempt because I'm getting really tired and I've got a couple things to do today so I don't really have time to, you know, try and, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously going to do my best, but I'm just letting you guys know that uh, I am getting very tired, because uh, the last two games I played, uh, well, if you guys were wondering, I, I was unsuccessful in my promotion series, I've lost the last three ranked games I played, the Fiddle 6-1, which was my first promo game, uh, our AD carry had to leave, so that kind of sucked, the second game was a rumble game, actually, and like 3 and 4, I tried to record that one. And I actually ended up just, uh, well, it was pretty much our bot lane who went like 1 in 12 combined or something. So that kind of sucked for us. Um, it looks like they're just having a little friendly meeting down there. Anyways, but I went like 3 and 4 that game, so I didn't do that great. So obviously, like, I didn't really deserve to win it. Uh, so that happens. And the game after that, I was playing Ezreal and I was like 5 and 5 at the end of it or something, I think. So, after going 5-1 and one in lane, that was kind of saddening, and we ended up losing that one, because the same guy that got carried on the enemy team during my Rumble game was the same guy that ended up, like, really losing, uh, really losing the Ezreal game for me. But that, uh, that happens. Anyways, let's go on, be dumb bitchin', and get on with this lane. I think, unless Shen is really rushing his behind up here, um, he will not be up here for a little while. So I'm just going to, there he is, there he is, I'm just going to run over here and launch my E at him. And that did hit him, so there you go. Not going to do a bunch of damage of course, but that did hit him. And he actually missed that CS, so GG, going to go ahead and get that. And now, he he obviously knows I don't have my W right now, so he might be trying to trade with me while I lag, what the heck? Lag please, alright that's not good. I really hope that doesn't keep going during this whole game. And right now, early he's going to have the harass on me until I at least have my W so I really just gotta stall out until that um, which sucks cuz I will will get poked down really hard but now as long as I kind of push pretty hard I should be pretty good uh, can you stop like please like please like please and there's Lee so I'm gonna back off and just try and let my W do its thing Lee might try and come in behind me, so I'm trying to stay a little, little up. And there he is, coming in with that Jarvan right there. Now let's go ahead and run back up here, because I am missing CS now. I'm just going to go ahead and slow Shen. And actually, even though I am lower than he is right now, what the heck did I start with a friggin' Doran's Blade for? I just thought about that. Whatever. Alright, obviously I know Lee was just there, so he's not here anymore. Most I Jarvan is chilling around top for a little bit, and now that I am level 3, I do have my Q now, so I can actually do some stuff here, hopefully, um, but I need to sustain up first, so this is fine, just gonna launch my E at him, do some damage, he didn't use his feint on that, so he did take the full damage from it, and I am just leaving it in, uh, whatever, bloodthirst, it looks like, I have no idea where Lee went, honestly, not a clue. But now that ward's wearing out, I do need to be a little careful, because if I do get ganked, that'll really suck for me quite a lot. But Lee is heading towards bottom, so that should not be much of a problem for us. Let's go CS more. I think I'm actually like a little behind the Shen, but we shall see. Let's go ahead and just do some damage to him here. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, first blood going to our vein, actually. That was the last person. Oh my god. I am being so stupid right now with my trading. So I need to sit here and actually get some autos off right now. Because now I'm being really, really bad about it. And he is destroying me in trades because of it. I need to be careful. Because, I mean, yeah, I am Aatrox. So I can heal up. Uh, but I will actually start to lose these if I'm not careful. So... I mean, I guess that's pretty, pretty obvious thought, though. If, like, if you guys really want to think about it, it should be pretty obvious that I would start losing these if I'm not careful. 
Uh, let's go ahead and launch my E there, though. Missed him with it, actually. And that will be some damage off on me. But, if I just leave myself in Bloodthirst all the time, I should be pretty good as long as I don't get taunted under the tower. Uh, I'm not really in a lot of danger right now. After I hit 6, though, I should be able to all-in him pretty soon. And possibly kill him. So let's actually just go ahead and miss our E, because that kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. Shen is still 5. Of course, when you're against a Shen lane, guys, you always want to tell your teammates when that Shen hits 6, because that is when he will start to be really scary. And I feel like Lee might be up here right now, but at the same time, I don't really care. I think I can get out of a Lee gank. Pretty, pretty confident that I could. Let's go ahead and just do that. If he tries to taunt me, that might hurt me some but I'm not too worried. I'm gonna r run over here and do my golems real fast so it can kinda have a chance to push back out towards me. Uh, he is gonna freeze it there which will take a little while for it to reset but if I go and do this this will help me out while I can still farm and hopefully get a little life back. Shen 6 very... Oh, Shen 6. There we go. And this will actually give me my some life back and it will actually get me to 6 myself. Or it should. Yeah, there it is. And, oh shit, Shen's trying to ult. Shen is trying to find a place to ult. Hopefully, of course I'm just going to save my Q actually for when Shen ults. Because if I can interrupt it, that would be ideal. Um, and I'm actually just going to back off because he's getting really aggressive. And I don't know why. And I don't have wards yet, so I'm just going to play very far back. And it looks like I might be taking a lot of damage here. So I'm just going to try and heal up a little bit. And this will be some damage off on him. Just gonna get my bloodthirst going. And I'll start meleeing these minions a lot. I might miss CS because of this, but I will get some uh, get some life back out of it. So if he's not paying attention, that's good. If he's if he is paying attention, then he might be able to do something to me. Uh, but let's go ahead and just keep autoing so we can get some life back. There's some trading done with him. And I don't really want to lose vision of him, because if I do, that's a free ultimate for him that I cannot interrupt. So I need to be very... I, re I need to remain vigilant on his location. And ow, that hurt. That hurt a lot, actually. So I'm just going to do that, get some damage off on him. And the more I sit here in auto, the better off I am. So, of course, I'm pretty much just waiting for him to use his ultimate to engage on him. Because that's what I really... There we go, him for some damage there. But that's really what I don't want to let him get off. Rip, boop, whoop, rip. And this will be a kill for me. And there's the kill. And let's go ahead and walk out. There we go. Flashed in, got the kill, and stopped his ultimate. And will have to use my passive to get that. I had to use both my summoners to pick it up. But he is going to lose quite quite a lot out of that and I think my team I don't know if we came out on top of it ourselves but it should be pretty good for us overall it looks like there was a little visual glitch there but I think I don't <laughs> I really don't think I could have done things much uh, much better there if you want to put it that way um, actually I'm not gonna get a second door and shield partially because I don't need it partially because I don't want it and I'm just going to pick up two wards and a few potions. I know I'm Aatrox, I know I've got Aatrox sustained powers, but I still like to pick up potions and obviously pick up two wards for very clear reasons. And it looks like missing the W. Damn. It looks like, yeah. He thought Lee was going to jack his red, but he totally wasn't. Picking up that kill on Shen though will help us out some a lot. And now I don't think I'll be getting another kill off on him in a little while, because... All my damage is going to be coming from my skills now that he's got 163 armor. So this has very, very quickly turned into a total farm lane where my E will be doing all the damage and I will not be doing basically any damage at all. So let's go ahead and just keep e in him. Personally, when I'm playing Aatrox, I do like to max my E first because obviously now I can't really trade with him after he got that friggin' amount of armor. Uh, but I do need to be very careful right now, or else I could find myself in a bad location. It looks like Vayne's up here picking up the kill on to Katarina. That'll help us out some. So, 
Let's go ahead and just do this. Miss that. Vayne picking up a double kill. We'll actually get her the double buffs too. And I think this is going to turn into a game of Protect the Vayne. And there's the Soraka ultimate coming out. Let's see, is she making plays? I I want to look, but at the same time I don't want to get taunted or anything. Actually, she is making the plays, dude! Looks like Blitz, is he going to be able to kill her? Will not be able to kill her! Vayne picking up four kills out of that. And that will put her at five and two. That is massive. And actually, I think we're getting Dragon for free out of that too. So that is huge for us. Absolutely gigantic and we will be fine that'll be the dragon for us just gonna keep picking up CS or as I miss the, as I miss the cannon minion I'm just gonna walk over here and get the golems real fast that way I can maintain farming while staying safe and actually I'm farming the most in the game with 80 at 11 minutes uh, not too bad not perfect though but anyways as long as I'm doing well myself and if I keep Shen from getting into fights um, that'll stop him from getting fed actually because, yeah, he'll get assists, but if I don't let him actually go, it really, really lowers the chance of them winning a fight with Shen's ult. Because part of Shen's ult is the fact that, you know, obviously he teleports to whoever he ulted onto. And that will get him... Actually gets him, like, back into the game if he's not doing well in his own lane. So, that's something you gotta keep in mind as well when you're playing against the Shen. That if you're a top laner with an interrupt, you need to be taking advantage of that. So, definitely something to keep in mind. My Ludwell will be up in just a few seconds. Now let's go ahead and just, uh... Actually, let's go ahead and kill him. Let's go ahead and kill him. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. He tried to all in me, not knowing that my Bloodwell was going to be up in just a second. That will be his life. And there goes another kill for me. Just going to sit here and sustain this back up and push this out. That is two kills for the Aatrox. And I am starting to get big. Let's go ahead and shove this. I might be able to get this tower. Actually, I'm probably not going to be able to get the tower, but I will be able to do a lot, a lot, lot, lot of damage to it. And this is going well for us. Going very well. Because it looks like our Zed is starting to do a lot better now. Uh, our Vayne is huge. I will definitely get this tower, actually. And this is looking good. This is looking real good. Let's go ahead and Q on those so I can get all three of them. And hit that R button. Vayne actually getting shut down. But it looks like... Possibly a kill coming in on that Ezreal. Maybe. He does not have enough mana to do his QE combo. But he will definitely pick up that kill with the auto attack. Bam, bam, bam. He is dead. Have the Bork now. And we'll pick up two more potions and another ward. And just keep pushing. Because if I can keep Shen down, that will be really good for us. And he is doing nothing but armor against us right now. So... That is something we gotta keep in mind. Gonna pick up these golems while I'm on my way back. So that way I can just get more money and get more experience on them. Uh, Cause I actually am missing a little bit by not being there for a little while. But let's just get these for myself. Cause, you know, being up here isn't that safe. I bought two wards cause I want to ward this. And I want to ward somewhere over there. It looks like I'm gonna come and try and help Zed a little bit. The flash coming out. And let's see if I can just catch her off here. And puh! This will be a bunch of damage off on her. That will be a kill. Jarvin chaos in the fuck out of me. But that will be the kill off on her because I just came in there and pretty much burst her down. And I'm just going to ward this real fast since it is up to me now. And I do still have my passive actually. Haven't had to use it yet. Shen is sitting in this bush so I'm just going to sit here. It doesn't really matter what he does, I'm just going to run and see what's going on. Shen is not in that bush. Alright, never mind. Just going to push this really hard then. That way I can uh, hopefully do something here. And let's just keep this CS up and boop. There we go, level up my Q again. I am leveling my W last because I don't really need the leveled up sustain from it. Because um, Aatrox's base damage is huge, so it's really worth leveling your other abilities first, so... You usually do that. Let's go ahead and just beat him up. There we go. There's a bunch of damage off on him. The double kill coming down in the bot lane from the vein, so fantastically done. And obviously, there. Oh, hello. Hello. I might be in a pickle here. Let's go ahead and just try and fight it, anyways. And. Boop. Yep. Whoop. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, 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 eh
Oh, everything just came up for me. Lee Sin just ward hopped over the wall. Did not see him coming, but Lee Sin is not there. Me and the bot lane can push very hard. That is saddening that that will be what kills me. Actually, freaking Jarvan over here picking up the kill on Lee Sin gave me the assist. So well done, Jarvan. And it looks like he is going for this Shen, who is actually very weak. Because he literally has no items, really. So, oh, Jarvan's very dead, though. Maybe? Maybe. He might be able to get out there if his mobility boots kick up in time. And it looks like they will. He will be getting out of this one. Katarina just not going to be able to catch up to that, even with the war jump. So as he sits there laughing at her, very intimidating. I'm actually going to pick up Merc Treads so I cannot be CC. That was not a good choice. Oh my god, the Infuse save and the heal saves! Keeping this Jarvan alive, and I really need to make a choice. And let's see, that will be the kill for Soraka, actually. And Vayne coming up, taking mid turret as well, killing Shen. This is going really well. Soraka making the plays, though. Now let's go ahead and finally decide on picking up an item. What the hell am I talking about? Get the Ninja Tabby so I can get this thing. I took way, way, way too long to try and decide what the hell items I wanted. Um... But I'm just going to pick up the Ninja Tabby to stop Ezreal, Lee Sin, and Shen from doing as much damage to me. And then the Zephyr will give me more damage, attack speed, movement speed, and the tenacity that I wanted out of those, um, those, whatever they're called, the, the Merc Treads, that's what they're called. But the tenacity is huge, which is why I'm still going to get an item that has it on them. Just a different item that I think would help me more. Um, a lot of people actually do like to get Berserker Greaves on Aatrox. I personally like Defensive Boots more. I think they pay off more, I think they help them out more. Um, but that's not to say Berserker Greaves are bad. I think, I think they're still a very viable choice. I just, as I said, like Defensive Boots more. Like, they, they just work better for me. And it looks like I've got guests coming towards me. So I'm just going back off a little bit. He is getting to the point where he's getting very cocky. So, oh, hello. Hello, Katarina. Hello. Yeah, she knows I saw her. She definitely knows I saw her. But I need to wait for him to push this up now. Because he does have enough armor to the point where it's hard for me to kill him at all with uh, with my low mass sustain. That ward scared the fucking shit out of me. I thought Lee was doing his thing again. So I just need, I need to be careful at least until I have my blood well up. Because after I get my blood well up, I might be able to do more again. Let's go ahead and just queue away from this. Just in case he decided he wanted to taunt me. Because um, right now, I'm very, very fragile. The reason, like, the way this build works is it lets me, um... It lets me do a bunch of damage while being tanky, all because of my passive. So, I need to definitely keep in mind that, hey, I actually don't have my passive up for another, well, only 22 seconds. And there's Soraka heal, so that'll actually give me enough health to run in here and do some life stealing. And that's kind of what I'm after right now. So I'm just going to sit here and wail on these minions. And this will be a lot of damage off on him. And it looks like, let's go ahead and just do this. Where you at? Where you at? Whoop! 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 Yep, is he, he is not making the plays. <laughs> and he tried to flash, he tried to make the plays. Very admirable, but the plays were not made. So let us go ahead and just take this tower after diving him for the kill. The Ezreal ultimate almost connecting to kill that Jarvan, but will not be enough. We will get bot tower from Zed split pushing, and we will get top tower now from me split pushing as well. So this is good for us. Our Vayne got huge, and our Zed starting to do much better now. And then Vayne got huge. So they are saying to report, but it's really not worth a report because they didn't. I mean, I don't. I don't think they did anything bad. They might be trolling. I wasn't watching, but our Vayne is definitely doing really well. Our, we're all doing well this game, so that's good. Like I'm definitely doing much better this game than I was in my other two games previous to this one, or prior, I guess you should could say. But oh well. And I do hope. I do sincerely hope that you guys aren't bothered by me doing two Aatrox ranked games in a row, like as far as my ranked games go. But 
I really it was it partially came down to me really wanting to win because you know losing three in a row is kind of demoralizing and as I was saying earlier HS is my safe top laner like I just don't I don't really lose with him too much because he's really easy for me to play for whatever reason like people just have those characters that are straight up simple to them and that will actually be a surrender so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop my wards do my flash and that will be game hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like and favorite really me out if you want to you can follow me on Facebook Twitter or Twitch all three links will be in the description below and on Facebook and Twitter I have been posting a lot more recently on those so make sure you guys do follow me if you want to stay updated on what I'm doing and as always I love you guys I hope you have a wonderful day peace